The main technique to evaluate project performance is called Earned Value Manage Management. And usually we abbreviate that called EV Analysis, Earned Value Analysis. Okay? And that's what we'll be doing from now on until the end of next class. So what is Earned Value Analysis? Earned Value, in the, that term, Earned Value, it's a term in which it tries to represent that every work that is executed in a project is earning value for the project. What does it mean? Let's suppose that I have to paint, uh, my project is to paint a room. We have four walls to be painted. And you hire a painter, and the painter tells you, or, okay, to paint your, that room, is one thousand dollars it means that the cost to paint each wall would be 250 dollars okay 250 dollars times four one thousand dollars for the whole for the room you once the project start and the person start painting the classroom once the painter finish the first wall we can say that the painter has earned $250 to the project. So, earned value is about give a financial value for the work completed. That is the concept of earned value. Earned value management, it's actually once you understand it, what is earned value management, you see that it's very simple and it helps a lot to understand the project progress. But at the beginning, it's difficult to uh, capture, digest the concept. And I, I, I was glad that I found out an um, article on the web that the, the link is below about what is earned value management. And that article is very interesting because the, the author um, developed an analogy with a flight. Imagine here that you are and you are flying from Los Angeles to Hawaii. It's a so that flight takes five hours and 25 minutes. If you're a project manager, you'd mean that that is the project duration. So you start moving, you leave Los Angeles, and then we come here, 25% of the distance, and you're burning full efficiency if you are going to make, and always, when you start moving, flying, of course the plane starts burning full. And that full, uh, you always have to check, because, how much food I have, I have used to fly that distance? And how many food is left? You have to make sure that you'll be able to arrive in Hawaii and not, and not land the, the, the plane in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So you have to understand that. So let's suppose a case here. So the guy, now you are the pilot and you see that you, are, you have flown 30% of the distance. So you, you have, that's 30% of the distance. And you, you check your full consumption and you have used 25% of your full. What does it mean for you, the pilot? Do you feel comfortable with that information or not? Yes, you feel comfortable. Why do you feel comfortable? Yeah, so because you, you just use 25% of the full for 30% of the distance means that somehow, okay, I have enough full to complete the, the, the flight. Yes. But let's suppose Instead of uh, when you check, you, th you understand that you have the flight has covered 30% of the distance, but you use 40% of the full. You burn 40% of the full. What does it mean for you? Maybe you'll be learning in the middle of the ocean. So you have to do something. Okay. The analogy of project, we can say that the distance is the, the work that you need to execute. The work that you need to do. And the full is the money. Is the money. The budget of the project. So every time that you start a project, you have an amount of work that you have to do and you have a cost. It's not just about to check if you are, you are doing the work on time. You have to check if you are burning money in a pace in which you, you have money to finalize the project. So earn value management help us to understand these two things. If we come back to the 
tracking gun chart here. Tracking gun chart. Just the tracking gun chart just gives the idea about the distance, about the amount of work executed, and the amount of work left or remaining. For but you don't have an any any idea about how many money you have spent or burned to do that part of work. So if you here you are supposedly in the middle of the project and you spent 80% of your money, that's very concerning. Maybe you don't have money to, to finish the project. Okay. But if you have done just 20% of the money, you are okay. Oh, I have a lot of money to finish the work. So that's the idea of the earning method value system. We try to, during the execution, we analyze, so if you have here a gun chart, analyze the work done, try to understand the expenses and the amount of work done, compare that to your budget to see if you'll be able to finish the project with the budget or not. Okay? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Uh, and that's complicated because in the middle of your project if you realize that you don't have money to finish the project that's when you start having to issue changing change requests and asking for more money and so the amount of money that you are using should be aligned with your budget it cannot be if you spend more than, than your budget at that moment of the project you may not have money to finish the budget so earned value analysis is something that we try to cover, cover, to make things easier in the earned value management, we convert, pay attention, that's important, we convert the work, like painted the wall, the room is 1000, the wall is $250, so one wall has a monetary value of $250, and with that I can compare with my budget. If the guy painting the wall tells me the painter says, oh, I spent $400, he's burning more money than I expect. Earned value is a kind of, if you compare that to the gun tracking, uh, tracking gun chart, it's a tracking budget tool. They call that earned value budget tracking. And allow the project manager to understand how much project has earned in terms of work based on the tasks completed. And here is the same analogy with the full in the, in the flight. If you earn 30% and spent 40% of your budget, that's not good. We work hard to help you to get better marks, be prepared for job interviews, and excel in work meetings. You can send your questions in the comment area below. I will be pleased to answer all of them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Americo e-learning.